Hello everyone, this is Mother. I'm going to show you today my new plugin is called Magic Texture Map. With this plugin, you can load textures, icons for the folder. And as you can see here, I have a small skin with a here funny a small R-length character I make. Uh, also, I use some rigging stuff so you can see it's moving and this stuff. But you notice here there is no mouth. So let's put the mouth now. Okay, so now let's load the mouth and use uh, to see how it's working. Uh, so let's make a new material like I have here and let's drag. You can see here now the island is full of this material. And now I go to tidy and I check and I use a plane, a flat, I mean. And now you can see the material texture is, is have a flat uh, projection. So now let's right click and use region. And now we drag where you like to be the mouth, let's say here. Okay. The next step is to load the, uh, the texture. So let's go here. And in the, in the lumens here, uh, I go here and I open here a mouth. So let's open here, for example, this one. And now you have this, okay? Okay, let's make this li little bigger. So let's go here, the uh, textures, scale. Uh, let's scale this, let's drag. Also, you can, you can see here, for example, you can place where you like. Okay, uh, now the next step is uh, go here in the Lumis, copy this in the alpha channel and paste. Okay, I want to use here those soft. I'm going to use this color. So let's grab this color. And here in Delta, I want to use something like this value. This is because the alpha. So now uh, when I read them, so I use a primitive. You can see here, it looks like perfect. Okay, now uh, when I done this, uh, let's close. Let's load my plugin. So let's go to the island and let's go to, a, you can see here that this magic text map. Let's uh, put a new tag here. Okay, now we have a magic text tag, you need to put the text path. So let's click this. And when it's open, I select my icon here, click OK. And now you can see I have icons. Now when I double click this here uh, tag, you can see here my icons. And the nice thing, you have very nice uh, here, you can change what you like. For example, you can change the row how many rows you want, how many sides you want. So like this, you have a uh, flexibility how you like to be. And also you can drag here, for example, and okay, let's say I want something like three rows and I want big, so like this. And now I can go close. And now the, the nice thing is when I click here, this icon change. But to do this, you need first to put here in the list shutter the text map you're going to change. So this here when I click. So let's double click here. And first, we have a Lumis, you can see here. So I drag this here icon uh, texture here, okay? And now, when I click, you can see this change. But if you notice here, there is some problem because uh, I don't drag the alpha. You need also to drag the alpha. So you see when this icon is changed, so when I click, it changes. Also, the alpha is changed automatically. So I need to drag also the alpha here. And now, when I click, everything is changed. And now you can see very easy, I can change my icon when I click. Okay, so another thing I want to show you now is you click here, there is textures review. So if you click here, you can see here also the texture here. For example, uh, just this to review to see how it looks like. And also uh, here, you can animate those. For example, let's go here in my 50 frame and let's say the begin is close. So let's go maybe zero and say close. If you hold the control and you click the icon, now I add the keyframe. You can see here, I go here in 50 and let's make the, okay, maybe, okay, this is a little bigger than the time. So let's make it smaller. And let's make here, like open the mouth. And maybe, I don't know, something like this. Uh, just I make something like the talk, you know, something very fast. Uh, okay, and let's say close again. And now when I hit play, you can see here uh, this is working. Also, you notice here the blue. Uh, so when you read it, you don't have this problem. So when I read it, you can see here how it looks like. This is only in the editor view. But you can see when I play, this is basically, it don't stick. It's like a projection. So to fix this very easy, you can go to the only here in the tag and you can just stick textures. And now you can see this also stick. So now I want to show you how you can use another here. For example, let's say I want to change this island with it uh, with different textures. 
So let's make a new here again the materia and draw here. So it's complete, it's uh, replaced this material I have. Now I can go here and I can make another magic texture tag here and I can load another texture path here. So you can load as many tags like here and textures here. So here let's uh, load the texture path. Okay, I, I use maps. Okay, now I double click. And now you have this uh, maps. This is for Windows original. Just I put some simple now. It's not make sense, but just to see how it's working uh, the idea. So now in here in the textures map, uh, I load uh, the texture gone. So let's load here this one. Okay, and now you see how it looks like the Allen. Uh, here again in my uh, plugin tag here. I drag the textures, uh, this texture here. And now when I click, you see it changes. And the nice thing with this, uh, for example, you can use uh, some other stuff. Uh, for example, you can go here at the BAM. You can use, for example, uh, you load the same image, for example. Okay, I want to show you this uh, tip. Uh, and now I can use, for example, a, a filter. And now uh, I can open to make, for example, the set of views and maybe a little bit the clipping, something like this. And now because this is a it's a tag, uh, I can drag and not this one, uh, this one. So when I change, it's also changed here. So now I have also my filter, my bam, and I have a uh, control everything. So when I read in here, I can have also the bam, and you see I have also the mouth. See how great is this? So basically, you can make your setup, filter, layers, anything you like, and you can change all the image. Okay, and, and the last I want to show you uh, something last. Uh, I want to change the sky to high DR. So let's go here and put a new here uh, the icon. Okay, I, I remove this. Let's make a new ma here ta uh, material. I mean, okay, let's load a new icon here. The color, uh, the lumens in this case. So let's uh, okay. So let's load this one. Now you can see how it looks like. And again, I go here uh, and I drag the bitmap. And here I load the top up. And I use here the array. Okay, and now I make a load here. Okay, first I need to double click so it changes the folder and now I can reload. Now you can see when I click here, it changes my studio like how we want. So you can see here I have this one, or I have this one, or this one, or this one. And you get idea how this great plugin you can work in Summer 4D to help you. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, if you, for example, save this project and you have these uh, icons, for example, when I double click, you can see it changes also. Um, you have all this here. Also, you see here this notice is a little slow because this high there is very big image, so you need to load first, and after that, uh, you can control fine. Uh, okay, so you can need to change to change to locker. You can click this button here to change the locker. So, like this, uh, all the textures images loaded for the local file in Cinema 4D. Uh, so, when I select everything, I change to locker now. You can see now the icon is gone because I don't have this icon in my local file in Cinema 4D. Okay, so now let's open this file where I save this project. So here is my file. Uh, you need to put a texture folder here if you don't have. And here you need to put all the folder you just load for the different path. So let's load the folder. So I just copy all my... So I have everything now. So you can see how the icons and map like I, I load before. But you remember I load with different path. And now I load for the local of my project. And now uh, I'm going to double click... Uh, you can see it's back. So like this, you can save this project. Uh, always you have this textures inside and you can put anything you like and you can move wherever you like. You can say, for example, this, when you open your skin, you have very nice, when you double click, you have all the icons loading and you have also your animation. Very good. So yeah, this is my new plugin. I hope you like it, find it useful. You can find my site, nitro40.com and it's free beer. Thank you for watching this video and more plugins coming soon.